back from my hiatus. I filmed a commentary that's coming out later than this video. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's my first video back. But it's not my first video back technically because this is going to be uploading before that one. So I probably should have said, oh, everyone finally back in this one. The other one's not uploading till later. And then there's going to be two versions of the same intro. So I'm not going to do it for this video, okay? Let's just pretend I was never gone. Hey guys, it's so good to be back. Welcome back! What's up guys, it's Ange, and today we're gonna be watching The Last of Us. I am so excited because The Last of Us is my favorite game on the in the universe to and every planet out there if other planets have video games which they probably do because they're not stupid and this would be tr superior to all of them because it's just that good i've heard really good things and i have been so patient to watch this because i was saving it as a reaction because i know you guys would appreciate this i have it literally memorized to the t so if they get something off here i'll know it <laughs> I'm excited to see how this is going to become more of a cinematic experience or I guess televised experience Before we begin make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet already so you can stay tuned to all my content I post three times a week follow me on my social media all my handles will be in the description below and follow me on twitch I live stream every sunday tuesday and thursday If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this episode Make sure you check out my patreon page where you can gain full access to that and future movie slash tv shows that I do on this channel Alrighty y'all let's jump straight into the commentary 1968? Pandemic. Pan meaning all, the whole world becomes sick all at once. Oh, flashbacks. Are we talking about COVID or? Not bacteria, not viruses, so fungus. Fungi seem harmless enough? Many species know otherwise. Yeah, have you seen those fun fungi infested ants or whatever? There's a fungus that infects insects. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, I'm a science. Give me a chair and a glass of water and a cigarette because I belong in this circle table because I know what I'm talking about. So if that happens, we lose. Or we'll be back. That's such a weird response. I would have been like, yo, imagine. <laughs> I guess that'd be the reason why I wouldn't be a part of that table. So I'd be like, yo, imagine if the entire human population got infested with fungi. We're all just zombies bleh, trying to eat each other. How'd they say so composed after that cool fact? Sarah! I can't, I can't blow up my mic. Sarah! Yeah, you, you donezo, you gonzo, girl. Yo, why do those eggs look kind of amazing right now? I haven't had breakfast yet. It's 3 p.m. I was gonna make you birthday pancakes. Happy birthday. Oh, interesting, we get a morning scene. This doesn't happen in the game. A flaw! Uncle Tommy! Hey. Same outfit, too! Doesn't ring a bell. It's definitely a country. His voice sounds exactly the same, too. Jakarta isn't a country. In fact, it's the capital of Indonesia. Shit. Oh, you're a smarty pants, Sarah. Look at you! Too bad that means nothing in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm being a little dark right now. This is what happens when I know the story beforehand. Oh! Look at this shot. This is familiar. Ah, uh, this is gonna come back later. As I have it, always sub oh, this is gonna do me so dirty because now we're getting more attached to Sarah. The intro was already brutal enough in the video game. Why do you have to make it worse here emotionally? Am I gonna cry? Are water is water gonna flow from my eyes? Be honest with me. Guys, guys, if you made it this far and you think I'm gonna cry, like the video. <laughs> Com comment below. <laughs> 20. That's it? Okay, 30. 20's good. And she's getting a watch fixed? I thought she bought the watch. Oh, I guess they're making it more emotional because, you know, they want to rip my heart out and shred it to a million pieces. <gasps> All day. Did not the SWAT team. Yeah, one of those old people are, are definitely becoming zombies. My money's on Granny on the wheelchair. She's gonna be the zombie. The zombification process is already happening. I mean, look at her. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Granny! Granny, settle down! 
She's gonna be a clicker. She ain't gonna be even the walkers. She's gonna be a clicker. Did you see that? Oh gosh, not the fighter jets. All right, we're being a little dramatic. What are they gonna actually do? What are those planes gonna do? Okay, y'all in the comments are gonna be like, well, and idiot. Let me roast the show. Let's have, that's my job. See, even Vander's mad at you, the haters in the comments. <laughs> oh, here it comes. It's literally beginning. I'm so ready for this. Fixed it for you. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my heart isn't ready for this. Like, I'm actually, like, nervous right now. My heart is beating really fast. I could have stolen 60, but I put the change back because I'm an honest thief. Besides, it's the thought that counts. And you were never gonna do it for yourself, so. Oh my gosh, that was good addition. Barred from what the Abbots. <gasps> Joel's a gamer? Joel would be a gamer. Oh wait, is it a movie? I'm, I'm dead. It's not a game. Why did I think it was a video game? It's because it came in that little box, which I only see in video games now. Wow, I forgot that DVDs were a thing. Uh, you guys remember those old things? DVDs? But I'm in jail. God damn it. I gotta get out. Which jail? Travis County. Wait, this is kind of amazing because it's filling in the holes that the game had. The great thing about video games is that Things just kind of happen and characters kind of just show up. You know, perfect timing with video games, but you know, they have to make this more of a cohesive, well-rounded story, minimize the holes, so. Okay, but what is glowing green? What could possibly be green? Oh, the dog! The dog better not die, I swear. If the dog dies, I'm gonna be pissed off. What are you doing out here, boy? Oh, you know. The grandma tried to eat me. This is Adler. Oh gosh, the suspense is real because it's a little bit different. So now I, I actually don't know what's gonna happen or when the gem scare is gonna be. Turn around, please. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Run, Sarah. Run. Oh, I cannot. I cannot look at that. Oh, that makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sick. Eight a minute. Ah! Oh my gosh. Get in the truck right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get in the truck. Yeah, listen to your dad. Listen to your father. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, just shoot her. Whack her. Do something, please. And we're gonna get out of this. Oh, what is that, son? Why is it green? Oh man, camera is amazing. I wonder if they had like one of those robotic arms and they had to time everything to match the driving. It's Jimmy's place. Is it weird to say that that kind of looks pretty? Minus the dead bodies inside. These are my favorite camera shots. Yo, being those extras are probably so fun. Just like their direction is on my cue, scream and run across this alleyway. This is exactly like the game too. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Move. Move. What is that? Oh my gosh, is that a plane? level how many times have we seen in tv shows characters get t-boned by an by a truck or something that's so overdone they changed it they were like you know what we got the budget let's make it a plane that was cool that was sick oh my one brain cell left <laughs> i'm funny <laughs> <laughs> All right, these zombies are kind of stupid though. I'm not gonna lie. There's gotta be like a more efficient way of running. <laughs> oh, here we go. Daughter's hurt, her ankle. Stop right there. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I can't experience this again. We're not sick. We are not sick! Oh, oh no. 
Please don't. Oh gosh. Thanks, Tommy. Okay. You're okay. Oh, it probably hurts so much. <laughs> Come on, baby. You're gonna be okay. All right. Oh my gosh. She's acting the ish out of this. I can't. I gotta get you off. Come on. You come on. <laughs> oh, I know. Tommy, help me! <laughs> I can't witness this again. Come on, get up. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, don't you hit me with the 20 years later. Oh, it hurts every time I watch that scene. It not only stabs you, it takes the dagger and twists it like 14 times and then pulls it out and then it whips out a machete and then it whacks you another 10 times in the skull and then it grinds up your skull pieces and eats it for breakfast. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. And of course, we got those extra scenes with Sarah too. So we like, so we like got more attached to her just for them to like destroy our hopes and dreams. Oh. Can we just talk about the, the camera shot too? This is so good. It wasn't like the typical, like just holding a close up on Sarah's face and then seeing life to death. It was like very much we tracking from Joel's face to Tommy's face to Joel's face. And then she's already dead and it's just like panic everywhere. And it's happening all so fast. Great way to capture that moment. It's almost like how they did in the game too, where you only hear Sarah die. You don't really see it. It's very good. Makes it more intense. What if I told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're gonna find you your favorite food to eat. And then we'll get you some new clothes and toys. Because we're literally gonna murder you. You're safe. <laughs> I would hate to have that job. This is the worst thing ever. That that kid's done, dead, RIP, good night. Oh, I would hate to have this job too, I guess. You know, incinerating dead bodies is not the best. Is that our Tess? Is that Tess? Hello? She looks badass enough to, to be Tess. Can't. Can't what? Cause it was a kid. Oh, look at his high tops. Yo, Joel is like, I can do it. I'm numb to all this ish. Unauthorized exit from a quarantine zone. Dang, you're, you're gonna sentence them to death? That's what we've come to? That's where society has led us? After a zombie apocalypse? I don't think I care for this. Who are you? Are you Rob? It's not like I planned on ripping you off. What do you want? I want you to forget this ever happened. Done. Oh, this is like the scene that we didn't get in the game. This is a scene that we didn't really get to see and this is how Tess got beaten up. Wow, interesting. I'm glad we get the 401. 411, is that the phrase? And I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. So are we good? Yeah. Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh! I was not ready for that! Hello? Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, well, thank goodness you weren't closest to the wall! <gasps> Ellie! Yeah! Oh, I'm so excited for her quips. Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! That's <laughs> the best thing about Ellie. She's like the quippiest, most clever little smartass. You'll ever meet in a character. Ooh, that shot of the dust. Think about COVID. We couldn't even get toilet paper. Like, <laughs> ain't no way there's Lysol, wipes, vacuums, anything. Things get dirty, there's dust everywhere. This is the conditions that people are living in. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. The atmosphere is just right. Oh, and he's still wearing the watch. Love to see it. And it's all like broken up too, it doesn't even work. This is where the game usually starts. I like how they fill in the gaps. I thought I wouldn't enjoy it if they steer off too much, but I like it because they're just filling in the gaps that we didn't get to see. It's almost like we're getting extra. What's the point of this? My answer is to follow fucking orders. Our people are asking what's going on and I don't know what to tell them. Tell them to follow fucking orders. I want Fedra everywhere but here. Because tonight, every Firefly in Boston is going to gather in this building and we are going to leave the QZ. 
Yo, Marlena's kind of more badass on this in this one. Way more hardcore. I feel like she was more composed in the video game, but it's really cool to see her just being like, you know, just follow orders. Rah, 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 rah. So they sealed the windows. That's such a good shot. And good attention to detail. So, Veronica, where are you gonna go? Back to Federal Military School? You that anxious to be a soldier? You think I chose that place? They put me there when I was a baby. They didn't put you there. I did. It's interesting how we get to see a little bit more of Ellie's relationship with Marlene. I guess like how they came to be together. Why would a terrorist dump me with Fedra? Because it's where you'd be safest. A terrorist? Was Riley a terrorist? Oh, they brought up Riley? Wow, they only, in the video game, Ellie only mentions her later and then the DLC came out. It's like a prequel with Ellie and Riley back when they were in that middle military school thing. Wow, was not expecting a name drop of Riley right then and there. Seem put a piano in front of us? Oh, yep, yeah, that's not a piano. Did you just compare the weight of that dude to a, the weight of a piano? Tess, come on, you're not that weak. Come on, girlfriend. Is that Rob? Wow, we skipped the whole Robert sequence. Oh, then this is where they meet Marlene. <laughs> oh, oh, Ellie. So this is who Robert screwed us over with? I mean, war must be going pretty shitty for you to be buying from scumbags like him. Yeah, it kind of has been. Don't. Not at her. Point at me. But Joel doesn't give an F about kids. That, that's why, okay, that scene was actually so well planned when he took the boy carcass and yeeted it into the fire because it really shows Joel's character. Like right now he's so stale to all the death that is coming and happening around him and, and, and he's so numb to even the fact that kids are dying. That makes this even more special. It's gonna make their dynamic even more special. So it's a good setup from the TV show. I really like, that's actually really smart script wise and concept wise. You get her there safely. And they'll give you what you need. I swear. It's a good deal. You know what we can do with all that stuff? Probably sell it for more stuff. Like a car battery. The radio is a smuggling code, right? 60s song, they don't have anything new. 70s, they got new stuff. What's 80s? Okay, Smarty Pants. Ellie. What are you doing? Killing time. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm sure you'll figure that out. I feel like she's angrier. So feisty, Ellie. Your watch is broken. The person who usually does the fixing for me does not exist anymore, okay? Touchy subject. My stomach is growling very loud. I need food. Maybe I'm gonna make myself some scrambled eggs after this. Those- I'm not even kidding, those eggs in the beginning of this episode look just so good! They really nailed the set design. It's one thing to, you know, just map it out and draw it out for a video game, but to actually create it real life, I think they did an excellent job. Same with the costuming. It can easily come off as, like, tacky. You know, like, uh, like trying too hard with costuming, but I think it actually is, they did a really great job creating this world, the universe of Last of Us. Holy sh**, I'm actually outside. Why on earth would you stand up? I get it, she's still a kid, but also you're not a dumb kid, Ellie. Good shot of Tess. Oh my gosh, you see that? The light going through. You're gonna be me. Get on your knees. Just get on your knees. Just get on your knees. It's three weeks. It's three weeks, I swear. Risk my job for half off of your fucking mind. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yep, that's Joel. With a hint of traumatized past. Don't! I am not sick! Don't! I'm not sick! Don't! Look! Three Wait. weeks old! Nobody lasts more than a day! Joel, we gotta move! We gotta move, Joel! It's happening! Is this where the episode's gonna end? Ooh, not yet. Interesting. What an amazing shot! Is that 80s? I don't know. Oh, good episode! Ah, don't play the next episode! Ah! Wow, not bad! Pacing? Interesting. I feel like an hour and a half episode is very, very long, but I do just want to trust them. Taking a video game and transforming it into a series or something that is live action is more times than not 
horrible. <laughs> they don't do a good job. And my theory is when you take characters that you love, and not only that, you're taking characters that we have embodied ourselves in, it's really hard to make a film or a movie not only capturing that same feeling, but affecting us in the same way. Book to movie adaptations are a little bit simpler because, you know, you have that aspect of being able to imagine the world and, you know, everyone's interpretation is different. And with video games, it's something that's already animated and created and you get to have a piece of you in that storyline because you actively choose what the character does. Sure, this is, it's still a linear story and, you know, you don't really, the, your choices don't affect, you know, the outcome, which some video games actually do, but this one doesn't, makes it hard for a movie to appeal to an audience that has already attached themselves so much to a character. No, in knowing this, I'm really trying to just detach myself and really trying to make myself as unbiased as possible, even though I know the story and I'm, you know, obviously judging this based off of that. I really just want to enjoy it and see what they can offer me. If it's different, that's not really a bad thing. And we want to see the series succeed and see if it can translate well to people who maybe have not even played the game before. As a TV show, it is a really long episode. It's a little slow, but also I know the story. It might go faster for someone who actually doesn't know what's going on. I very much enjoyed the first episode. I, I really think they invested changing and rewriting a lot of the first episode because it's gonna make more sense later in terms of story-wise. If you don't know The Last of Us, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do know Last of Us, what do you think about you know the little rewrites that they did? They were slight, and if anything, they just kind of added on top. What did you think about that? Do you love it? Do you hate it? and why. Put it down in the comments below. I think they did a really good job recre recreating the whole prologue. Prologue? Prologue. That's what it's called, right? Preface? I don't know. I think they did a really good job with the whole intro sequence with Joel's daughter. Um, I'm excited to see how, now that they set it up, how the next episodes are gonna go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed that commentary, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet already, so stay tuned to all my content, and don't forget to check out my last video. If you guys want to check out the full-length commentary to this episode, make sure you check out my Patreon page. We can gain full access to that and future movie slash TV shows that I do on this channel. Alrighty, y'all. Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, bye, okay, bye, okay, bye! I'm gonna go make myself some scrambled eggs now. <laughs>